Hi, my name is Bob. I live in Snohomish, East Snohomish, Washington, just above Monroe. I am selling my entire yard full of plants. I'm moving and I don't want to leave this. It's a rental and I don't want to leave them in the ground for the landlords. Uh, long story. But anyway, I am selling this entire yard. So here's a really quick, brief uh, tour of what's available. So in this bed in the front, there are black mondo grass. Three different canna lilies, that is pink uh, Nancy Lamium, um, another uh, canna lily over there, a juga right there, that pot full of uh, his gladiolas, that's phlox right there. Now we move down, there are some uh, hens and chicks right down here, no the rock is not for sale. <clears throat> there's a uh, number of different smaller plants, but there's a variegated uh, holly none of these are for sale those are they just came with the house so there's a um, um, it's a grass I don't know exactly it comes out with little uh, orange berries and down here that is an awesome zebra grass it grew <laughs> like eight feet uh, I'll show you the other one that didn't grow quite as well but there are gladiolas in that uh, pot right down there. This is a, a white dogwood. This is a red, either fire glow or um, it's a red. It's a red maple. Um, no, that bamboo is not included. Nothing in pots is included in here. So if you see anything in pots, it's not included. So in the structure, and the structure is yours too if you want it, I actually have two more frames over there on the ground. But there's an apple tree, not sure what kind. This is another dogwood, it was a rescue. Um, it's doing fine, it's got buds on it, so it should be fine. There is another uh, apple tree right down there. Then we move into this bed here. Um, so the reason that it's I'm having a lance uh, some gardeners come out and uh, clean this up but here's another uh, this maple actually comes out as pink green and white this Japanese maple is just a regular Japanese maple uh, uh, Acer green that is a uh, pink dogwood right there this is b black bamboo in the ground Over here is a uh, nice red lace leaf maple. Um, it has great structure and it's probably not going to get much bigger than that if you want to keep it that way, but it's an awesome tree. Here is a, a small red, another either fire glow or one of the, it's a red leaf maple. Then more holly, uh, Hino Crimson Azalea, another Hino Crimson Azalea. There are tons of um, lamium and uh, ferns, coral bells. These are hellebores. This is an oak leaf uh, maple or a hydrangea. Another hino crimson. Uh, phlox in here. There's tons of different colors of phlox in here. Um, that is, there's some, oh, I don't remember. Oh, it's the St. John's wort over there. And there's lots of little ground covers that I don't, you know they're in here um, in the center here it's not coming up yet but there's a bear's breach and acanthus mollus there are daylilies everywhere more coral bark or coral bells uh, more flocks most of these uh, sticky things are flocks um, this is a, a orange height uh, orange rhododendron it hasn't bloomed for me I just don't think it's happy in any place I've put it that is a Wygelia over there, uh, nice burgundy leaves, bush, shearable, with uh, white clusters of flowers. Uh, right there, that is a uh, purple smoke tree. This is another small purple smoke tree right here. This is another um, lace leaf, it's just a green, and not just, but it's a green lace leaf maple. More hellebores over there. Uh, oh, foxglove right there. There's ferns in here. There's uh, several different types of a still bee. There are uh, chives over in that bed over there. There are, what else? And pretty much there's, you know, various, uh, 
various plants in here. There's another Japanese maple uh, right there. It, uh, it's a broadleaf one. I got it on a specialty thing, but uh, it's, it's good. And all this will be cleaned up so you can see, oh, that uh, vine right there is a kiwi vine. And do, 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 do. and I believe that's the end of the tour. It's basically everything that is in the ground, except for that one bed that has uh, um, dahlias in it that is uh, my housemates. But everything else that's in the ground, all the plants that are in the ground here that didn't weren't here at the beginning. Oh wait, no, I do have I do have more. Um, over here, there is. So inside that black pot right there, there's actually peonies. Those go with because they should have been planted. And then there's coral bark over here, or coral bells over here, lots of coral bells. These two are Atlantic blue cedar, Atlantic weeping cedars. Um, they go together. They were gonna be a living fence. That is um, a Rose of Sharon. That is a clematis that's on the skeleton of a, of a Japanese coral bark maple that died. But the uh, um, just beautiful burgundy uh, flowers with a, with a yellow center, gorgeous. This is a uh, butterfly bush. And do, do, do. there's flocks and things, uh, some creeping flocks over here. But lots of uh, um, black mondo grass. That is a rose. Uh, it is uh, pink. In nature, that's candy tuft. And do, 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 yep. And again, that's another. Oh, that's that uh, um, zebra grass. So, so this entire yard, with all the plants that you have just seen, and probably you know whatever. There's things coming up that I don't even remember that are there. But this entire yard for fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, I'm pretty firm on that because there's about 4000 I just walked you through about $4,000 worth of plants. So if you have a yard that you want to, or a, or a, a property that you want to landscape very cheaply, um, I can have these, you know, come over and look at them and bring a crew, dig them up. But uh, $1,500 cash, I'm leaving on a trip and uh, um, having a little adventure. So you'll be actually... Uh, funding my my adventure as as well as getting a really really these are gorgeous trees I'm a landscaper I did not I picked them out they're gorgeous they have great structure they're healthy and uh, everything is viable so uh, please come and check out my stuff in at uh, in uh, East Nahomish above Monroe thank you.